Good morning, guys. I'm so glad that you're listening. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I just ask that you hit the button below. So I'm super excited that you're here with me this morning, this day before Thanksgiving. So for a lot of us, it's a cooking day. For me, it's like a super baking day. So um, I am kind of excited to get to do that with my girls. So my reminder is do something with family. But um, the Lord's reminder today and what the Lord wanted to say was um, pretty awesome, pretty simple. This morning, um, every morning, my routine, I get up and I just sit before the Lord and I come and I'm praying for everyone. And I'm just asking, you know, what do you want to say? What do you want to say this morning? And, and so this morning, it was really simple. It was tell them I love them. And when the Lord speaks, he's really simple you know, appears to be very simple thing, I'm always like, what? That can't be it. What do you want me to tell them about that? And he's like, you know, I just had been thinking about how I had been talking and had been laying on my heart to talk about what to do in the way and waiting on God. And, and he said to tell everyone that he is waiting on us. And so I thought that was really interesting and, and that he loves you. And, um, I love it. I just love it so much, but I'm, I was pushing in and I'm like, God, you know what? Um, you know, it's like, I could say so much about that. How do you explain the love of God in, in a word? Cause I'm a word person. I'm a talker. So I want to be able to explain everything away. And, um, so I'm sitting there thinking about it and I turned to John three sixteen, like the most, simple verse that I would say most people know or have heard so much that they've become numb to it. And I'm just reading it. So I'm going to read it this morning quickly. Um, for God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Verse 17, God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. And so I was just sitting and I was reading it and thinking about it and just this experience just swept over me. I mean, I was just so thankful. I thought about stuff that I know about the, the word, you know, and, um, you know, I thought about the Old Testament and how sometimes we think of God as being angry and, um, you know, this is just so polar opposite than that. And I got to the end of it. And I just felt so, I can't explain it. It was a feeling inside of me. I was just so thankful for, for the love of God and that he's not angry. And he whispers in my ear and he says, you just experienced my love. And so, because my question before was like, how am I going to share this? How are they going to know how to experience your love? You know, because it says, there's scripture that says that God's love we experience. It's not just something we can get in our head. And so I loved it because he gave me a picture and he let me experience it. So my encouragement is just do that. Just take the scripture. I'm going to write this in the comments and think on it and read it and think about it for your life. Because I will tell you, sometimes we find out what God's love is by realizing what God's love isn't. So God's love isn't, and I was thinking about some of these, it is not like the kind of love like, oh, I got this new job. You go around, you tell everyone that you really love it. Five years into it, you get a new boss, you don't like them, and you quit. That's not God's love. It's not God's love when, you know, you've been married for a very long time and your spouse cheats on you. That's not God's love. That's not what it's like. It's not like, okay, I was raised in a family who said all the right things in front of people or went to church every week, but then they abused uh, their family physically, verbally. That's not God's love. It's not God's love um, if you've been in a church and they've used you or they've abused you for your talent to profit themselves. These are not God's love. So don't put people and how we interact with people and have people that we have loved and that have supposedly loved us and hurt us. Don't then push that on God because God's love is pure. God's love is 
It's holy. It's so much more. It's something that he wants you to know that he loves you and he wants you to experience his love. So I'm going to put these scriptures in the comments. I just encourage you just to take some time and sit and read and experience the love of God because he is waiting on us. He is waiting on us for greater surrender and just to believe him and to come to him. And um, his love is so good. So have a great day and I'm praying for you.